Hello everyone. Welcome to this week's free tea and tarot reading live at 222. Here with me, your host, Tamron, your astrologer and spiritual guide and founder of Tamron's Place, a teaching community. Every Tuesday, I go live inside the group to offer an astrological wisdom video to encourage everyone to tap into these energies that are playing out astrologically in the sky and to adv offer advice from spirit on how to manage the energy for the week ahead and we obtain advice using oracle cards or tarot decks um, and channel that information uh, with spirit in order to help you have a better understanding for the week ahead. And each week I am drinking tea in my magic cup and I share the information and the knowledge of what tea it is that I'm drinking. Again, I love to share these holistic remedies with all of you and it is amazing what a simple cup of tea can do for someone. It helps you not only physically but on an emotional mental level as well. So each week I share the wisdom and this week it's very damp. We're looking at spring weather here. It's the middle of April in northern Ontario. The snow is really melting and we're just seeing the, the last of the snow go down into the ground. However, in other parts of Canada and southern Ontario where people follow me, they're experiencing a little bit warmer weather. However, it's still very damp, right, where we get all these April showers so that we see the, the flowers in May, see those May flowers. So again, I'm going to encourage everyone to use freshly squeezed lemon juice and organic if possible and grind up a little bit of uh, fresh ginger root and add that into your cup, add some warm water, a little splash of apple cider vinegar, and if you like, a little dash of honey, raw honey if possible too. And the effect of ginger and lemon together can help to balance that feeling of dampness in the body. So it's the perfect little warm tea to drink during spring season. So I'm going to put that down and as I do, hold up this deck. So this week, the reading I'm using the cards is from an older deck by Doreen Virtue. And this is her Mermaids and Dolphin deck. And I love this deck because it is... It just feels like the powerful energy of the moon and our connection to water and our emotional body. And this is a lot what we talk about in these videos each week is how to connect to those emotional stories that are playing out for all of us. So we just had a couple of days ago, we had the new moon in Libra or pardon me in Aries. And what that represents is this this sense of fresh and new and wanting to move forward and letting go of some old stories. However, the challenge is, what I see in a lot of people, is that they're wanting something different to happen in their life and so they're repeating and doing things exactly the same way and expecting a completely different result. Now we all know what this means. It's it's the definition of insanity, right? Where you keep doing the same thing over and over and over and expecting to see something different. However, what I'm asking everybody to do in this week ahead is to go within yourself and to determine if something has changed in this past year since we had this COVID lockdown, which is now over a year. And what I've noticed with a lot of people is that the people that have made huge leaps and brand, uh, huge leaps and bounds in their life are the people that pivoted. They did something differently and it could be connected to your sense of value. So this is the theme a lot I've been writing about, talking about with my clients is understanding the values that are playing out within yourself and to determine if a major value has shifted or changed. And if you haven't taken the time to really sit down and determine that for yourself, maybe this video this week will help you um, to obtain some advice on how to manage that energy and how to look within to determine 
Is it an actual value? Because a lot of us carry about four or five main values <clears throat> that we run on throughout our life. And as we mature and develop, it's not so much that our values change that much because a lot of our values come from our upbringing. However, one of our values might be more of a priority now than it was, say, a year ago or two years ago or five years ago. So this is the question. I'm going to grab the deck, put this down here and shuffle and we're going to obtain advice from spirit with a two card draw so the first card is always the challenge and the second card is the action step that spirit is asking us to take and if any cards pop out i always grab them however if nothing like that happens we just take the two cards from the very top of the deck and i show you that as well so here we go these are the two cards we're going to be using this week so the first card that came up is rest so the challenge is to rest you've been working hard take a nap and get some rest so i'm going to just throw this image up a little bit closer to the screen put it more in alignment with the camera there you go and i want you to look at that look at that image because when we rest and take more time out for ourselves, this is when the downloads come in. So a question you can be asking yourself, go for a walk, do a longer meditation, sit somewhere that's so peaceful and quiet and ask yourself, what don't I see? And in the silence and in that rest period, allow the messages to come through your higher consciousness and to come through you so that you can have that aha moment. It's very powerful because a lot of us just keep trying to do some push forward, push forward, push forward, push forward, and nothing is happening. So when we take some time out, we obtain the advice from our higher self. So that's the challenge. And it is a challenge if you're someone that really just wants to take the leap and move forward. The second card, the action step is saying, wait. And it says, don't rush into action right now. Bide your time for better results. So what it's saying is that, again, keep trusting. Keep trusting and what you hear, what you're ready for, or where you can make some changes around your values is to not just jump at the first opportunity that comes your way. It's to actually stand up for what you believe in and believe in that value and don't undersell yourself. Because if your values are, are coming to the forefront, you're not going to be able to do same, things the same way you did before because a value has shifted within you. So spirit is asking you to be a little bit patient and to hold on to that new value and maybe take some time to meditate on that and to ask yourself, how is it possible that with this new value in place, will my like my life look differently? And then you get a new vision and then you can work on that new vision using uh, a different prioritized value. So I hope you found this video helpful. Again, these videos are being filmed live inside my newly launched Facebook community group here on Facebook. The name is under Tamron's Place, a teaching community. So every Tuesday, I'll continue to go live and the videos are also posted onto my YouTube channel under the name Tamron's Astrology TV so that you can share these videos with other people and obtain them through other forms of social media. So I look forward to joining you here again next week and stay tuned because every week I'm going to be adding a different teaching aspect inside this group so that you can learn how to stay balanced through these challenging times using holistic remedies with more ease and grace. And I'll be continuing to teach you about the four different elements of astrology, holistic remedies, Elemental Wisdom, which is tapping into those four elements of water, air, earth, and fire, and a lot of storytelling. So I have something special planned for Friday nights regarding storytelling. 
So I look forward to connecting with everyone soon. And if you have any questions or comments, please post them below this video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you again next Tuesday live at 222. Cheers for now. Bye-bye.